Air Patrol is going to be on us in a couple of seconds. You're never going to get your hostages back to your country. Let's talk. I'm off line. I got in a lucky punch. I'm not a bodyguard. But we are. You'll just be a figurehead. A name on the door. You'll probably never even leave the office. You'll help us pull in the rich and famous. We'll do the rest. We're professionals. We'll take care of all the tough stuff. So I'll never be in any danger? Never. 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 Beretta 92S has no recoil. Besides, I can't think of anything more rude than dropping a loaded pistol at a target range. I'm so sorry. I should have gone with them to meet Victor Balick. I'm sorry about my student. It won't happen again. It's, it's not working. I, it's impossible for me to concentrate, OK? Take it easy, Arnie. It's only us and the little ladies. It automatically makes you the second best shooter here. Ooh. You know, if you were any good, I might even be offended by it. Don't you worry your pretty little head about us. We're doing just fine. Really? Well, your weight is distributed improperly and your grip is lousy. Tasha. But other than that, you're right. You're doing fine. Excuse me, Arnie. You shoot like that, little girl? You come talk to me. You can shoot like that, little man. <clears throat> oh, wait. <laughs> See, that'll never happen. What am I saying? So there. And you find our security analysis thorough yet discreet. 
Lips are super glued. Your competition gets nothing from us. Even if they yank our limbs off. <clears throat> In addition to which, our ability to perform surveillance and counter surveillance, we feel. What the hell is wrong with this global positioning system? My shiny eyes. Now, where were we? Uh, lips sealed, yank off our limbs, counter surveillance. Ferris here is all over it. Aren't you, Ferris? Me and the 65 trained security professionals under my command. 65, huh? That's, that's a large number, no doubt about it. Question is, do they all wear those ugly brown shoes? Because <laughs> I got to tell you, Mr. Bellick, 130 of those clumping around, the word that pops into my head is conspicuous. At a time where you don't want anyone giving your business the old glove finger exam. Sir, I put your bid for transglobal communications up for approval. Very persuasive. Aren't there, I don't think the time frame is right, Mr. Bailey. Good point. As soon as Transglobal closes, I celebrate my $0.6 billion profit with a little trip around the world. I get it. Transglobal for Transglobal is funny. It's good. And if the security thing doesn't work out, we have to talk about a spot in marketing. Actually, he's OK with the security thing right now. Thanks for listening. Cute. Ferris, where are we with our little problem? The law firm is getting nowhere, Mr. Bailey. May I suggest more aggressive tactics? You may. So, how's our crack shot doing? Tasha has a bug of her butt about the way I hold a gun. And your hand would be nice. Hey, guys. We hit a bullseye. Wild this Balik guy big time. Balik? That's who you were talking about. Victor Balik. Media mogul. Rose to prominence in the last six years. Small to medium-sized cable market visionary. Worth over $2 billion. Our pitch was a brick. balik has got his own guy. Hey, I'm optimistic, all right? Boring you, Tosh? Somebody followed me and Val from the range. Are you sure? See that car? It was at the gun club. The only thing that car to follow is a tow truck. I'm gonna check it out. Not without me or not. I can't check out this man. Come on, Val. Be careful. He's got a gun. I got him. Hey! Uh, whoa. What are you doing? That's that weirdo from the target range. Thanks. Be careful with that. That's not so fast. What? What's up with the Instamatic? It's a high video camera. Could I have that? Please? That's what I do. I'm a documentarian. And I'm a humanitarian. Why do you follow us? I heard you mention Victor Balik's name, and I thought that I thought if you were working for him, that maybe you might try to kill me, so I came to investigate. I think you're being a little paranoid. No, Victor Balik wants me dead by Thursday. Mr. Bailey doesn't even know you exist. Yes, he does. And he's not who he says he is, and I can prove it. Kay mentioned something about a Bailey expose with ads on the internet this Thursday. Is that you? Yeah, those are my ads. That's me. I'm Arnie Fane. Arnie Fane. No? Yeah. Bailey, he's doing everything in his power to stop me. But with this expose, I'm, I'm going to the top, straight to the top. No, my camera? If you were a dog, do you see yourself chasing a car or being chased by a bigger dog? What? Answer the question. Being chased. Mm -hmm. When you squeeze a lemon, where does the juice go? In my eye. Hmm. When you think of home, do you see a person, place, or something else? Something else. What? A camera, all right? Look, you think you, you think that I don't know what you're doing here? This is one of those tests to see if I'm a lunatic or not. Sorry for inconveniencing you. You may go now. Don't we want to hear what he has to say? Sure. He can make an appointment. Bye-bye. Well, I don't know much about bodyguard etiquette, but your manners stink. He flunked the Kirby Rosenzweig test. What is that? 
Val Arney was right. I administered a test developed by the CIA to check for paranoia. Tasha was dating the agency's head shrink. Actually, he was the assistant head head shrinker. Arnie flunked with flying colors. He's totally paranoid. Well, that doesn't mean that Bailick isn't trying to kill him. She does have a point. Okay. Arnie Fain. The type of guy we protect people from, not the type of guy we protect. I don't believe it. She feels sorry for him. There is no way we are letting her talk us into working for him. The ride is busted. We're supposed to believe a billionaire is afraid of what he's got to say? Funny thing is, the antenna's still up. to retract when you kill the engine. A radio antenna is frequently used by car bombers to catch the detonator signal. Nikki, you're seeing bombs everywhere you look. <laughs> So you do need protection, but it, it still doesn't mean that Bannock is trying to kill you. I'm telling you, he's after me. You believe it, don't you, Val? Yeah. Don't blow an O-ring. Whoever blew your jalopy didn't want to kill you. They purposely set it off while you were a safe distance away. This is a warning. There's something the bomber wants from you. Excuse me. Excuse me. Am I not speaking English here? Victor Bailick, OK? He wants my expose on the internet stopped. This only proves that he's willing to kill me if that's what it takes. Well, it's a good thing that you're with us, isn't it? Like Tasha said, definitely needs protection. Good. Then you're hired. But it's only because Val swears that you're not working for Balak. Hey, take it easy, Arnie. There's a small matter of our fee. Fee? My expose of Balak is important to the world. Can we just call it pro bono? <laughs> you can call it sunny bono. For all I care, we still get a fee. I can't believe you guys. Hold on. I was saying he can always work it off. Say with the electronic press kit on VIP and it's fly mail operative. Yeah. A little publicity never hurt. Oh, great. From the Hugh Grant School of Life. All right. Better drop in on Balak and give him the don't mess with us speech. Fane, as in Arnie Fane. Oh, so you admit knowing him? Oh, I certainly do. I rather detest the little troll, if you must know. My company's official opinion is that Fane is neither a journalist nor a filmmaker. We told him that when he applied to be a host on The How and the Why. Heard of it? 60 minutes without Andy Rooney, according to Howard Rosenberg. A real ratings grab. Fane tried to work for you? Back. It's more the word. Huh. So, you don't have a problem with Arnie Fane's pending expose? Mr. Williams, did you know their laugh when I bought my first small market cable system? Today, one of three homes in America are wired by Bailey Communication. Do you realize how easy it is for me to counter any charges Fane might make against me? I'm interested in his expose for the entertainment value. The day after the airs, I squash Arnie Fane, like the small rodent he is. We'll find our way out. What have you got on them? Highly skilled, sterling reputation. Valerie Irons is the best in the business. Must have a weak point. Everyone does. Find it. Let's see how the gears turn here at VIP. K Simmons, Babe and Geeks Clothing. The Pentium processor of the little Intel chip we call VIP. She's probably tracking some high level perp without ever leaving her desk. She may be the receptionist, but K's a real pro. She's a really gifted fighter. What? She's got it under control. 
Not in the dojo. Come on, you little chili pepper. Tell Aunt Nikki how you almost blew up Arnie. Beat it. Nikki apparently prefers the company of bombs that people. See, this is what I'm talking about. If I'm wearing the pit rig, it ruins a drape. Of course, all I really care about is getting the job done right. A potent message. Even bodyguards have to look good. I love calling those automatic lines that tell you what your balance is. <laughs> Funny you should mention it. You asked about VIP's weakness. Money. Mm. Valerie Irons Protection assume all assets and liabilities of cult arrow protection. Mostly liabilities. Just act like I'm not here. Uh, I can't. Because uh, you have a camera in my face and I'm shy. Okay, uh, well, oh, okay, maybe I can interview you. Okay, what do you want to know? Uh, okay, all right. Um, um, okay. Do you, uh, do you like being a celebrity bodyguard? Oh, yeah, I love it. You know, famous people, rich people. People are people. Mm -hmm. I love people. As a, as a concept or a species? Whatever. Hmm. You know, uh, when I was growing up, my mom lied to my dad, my dad lied to my mom, and they both lied to me. And I think that if you, if you tell a lie, you kill something precious in yourself, and you starve something special in others. So you're an LB. Lie buster. I thought I was supposed to be interviewing you, anyway. Oh. <laughs> uh, I can tell you about my office. OK, what about it? Okay, it's a... Uh... Fully decked out. Mm. Soundproof, bulletproof desk, and we have a bomb sniffer thingy. We have a private line that you can tap, and mm. that's a top secret case. Val, those are security measures, as in secure, confidential. It's a promo video, so we have to talk about it. You just don't get it, do you? Don't yell at me. Uh -huh. Maybe that's the only way to get through to you. I don't think I have the problem. You do. You should have stopped with your first three words, because you're right. You don't think. You must be talking to my butt, because my hand ain't listening. OK, we all need to just count to 10 right uh, here. Yeah, as soon as she stops being CP, cranky pants. Excuse us! Don't you have some phones to answer? Don't okay, her that way. This is VIP, here to serve your security needs. Please leave a message. Ms. Arons? Stop. This is Go Victor Bellic. I've been thinking yes. about your firm's proposal. No. The references right. are impeccable. Okay. Answer. I'm prepared to pay top dollar. Wait, Let's say a flat fee of mm, a quarter of a million dollars. My man Ferris is on his way with a retainer. Back elevator. Come on. Unlock's a brother. Got that right. Drop the gap, we brain. A retainer. Mr. Balick wants to take you up on your proposal. We're not interested. He's scared off our. He should consider himself lucky. Tasha, about trying to find Arnie? Five minutes. I'll be in a much better mood. Ah! It's gonna be hard to find a paranoid. They could be anywhere. We could track his family. Typical fugitive's first move. Not Arnie. 
His relationship with his parents is totally whacked. He told you that? You know, he never talked to any brothers or sisters either. I think it has to be work-related because that's Arnie's entire life. Man, you know, you, you two ought to get your own talk show. Like Donnie and Marie? <laughs> okay. Sarcasm. Oh. Well, if Arnie does want to get his expose on the internet, he would certainly want to bypass any cable or satellite link. Right. Balik could torch those plans. Balik. It's Balik. Which really only leaves a direct long-line telephone server. Hey, you know, I did notice something when I tapped into his credit report. There it is. He's leasing an internet access server from a man named Avery Bardouche. Do you have an address? The account is encrypted. I can't get in without a password. We'll hit up every uh, contact and informant we have. Well, I'll keep surfing the net. You never know. Make it lucky. Okay, what can I do? Um, we'll call you when we find something. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, what do you see what I've been working on? I call it Maxine Sip and Chat. Nice. Rolls right off the tongue. What are the two things that people in this town cannot live without? A uh, Mercedes and a shrink. Ooh, a water bottle and a cell phone. Yeah. Huh? You can take it to the gym, to the market, night out on the town. That's cute. Yeah. yeah Check this out. Check this out. Whether you're shooting down thirst or shooting your mouth off, Sip and Chat. Hello? <laughs> huh? Okay, I gotta talk to you. Yeah. I'm so worried about Arnie. Well, Val, I mean, can you honestly say that you did your best to protect him? I think I did. I mean, I did everything I can. All right, well, if you're honest with yourself, I mean, that's all you can do. Honest? That's it. Okay, I'm trying the word truth for Arnie's password. Mm. It's not working. How can you try again? Because that's the one word Arnie lives by. Hey, guys, are we forgetting? Normal logic does not work here. He's a video nerd. Probably a trekkie. In Klingon, the word for truth is Jean Yawi. It's just a thought. Well, that's Latin to me. Very tough. It's working. The internet access site is a Malibu mansion available from that Avery Bardouche guy. Let's go find Arnie. Oh, can I come? I've never seen an internet access server site before. Don't you ever have any work to do? Lighten up, Tasha. What could it hurt? Arnie Fane. We know he's at your facility. Just tell us where it is. I'm telling you, I don't know. Give him room. I'm sure Mr. Bardos doesn't want to prolong this mutual embarrassment. How much longer? Just the buffing. Why don't you go down below and wait for me? Arnie Fane, where? I don't know what you're talking about. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. He's lying. You brought him here to lie to me. Oh. Mr. Bailey, please. You see what you made me do? You made me hurt someone I really like. Fane. He's at a house I lease at the top of Hacienda Drive, 4206. I've got it rigged with all this state-of-the-art communications equipment. See? It wasn't too hard, was it? Her condition will be monitored for 72 hours to see if there's any sign of organ rejection. In a story of special interest to viewers, BCC founder Victor Balik says he's received death threats from a young documentary filmmaker with whom he is currently in litigation. Arnie Fane is out to get him, Balik told police, so he's hired top Hollywood security firm Valerie Irons Protection to act as his personal bodyguards. Fane said something I'd rather not go into, and I felt I needed to respond quickly for my own safety. If anybody can keep him away from me, it's VIP, and I'm sure they will. I hope for Mr. Fane's sake, his reckless behavior doesn't inadvertently put him in harm's way. He's gonna get me. That bastard's gonna get me.
get out of here. Relax. It's just Arnie. I can't believe he's shooting at us. Pretty quick trigger finger for someone so innocent. He comes from a dysfunctional family, you guys. He doesn't know that we're here to help him. He doesn't care who he shoots at. Oh! Need to do those bullets. I brought flash bombs that can knock him off balance. Nikki, we can't use explosives on a client. She's right. I say we shoot him. Or not. Nobody needs to get hurt. Yeah, tell that to your friend. I will. A white flag should do the trick. Wow, that's a high-powered rifle. You get tagged and it's game over. It's all in the approach. She is the bravest woman I have ever seen. I know this is a trick. You distract me while the others sneak up. No, nobody's nobody's gonna sneak up on you. I just wanna come in. Okay. Then oh, you all come up at once or I can see you. We're already here, Arnie. Unarmed! far enough. Now, you guys aren't going to stop me, because I'll, I'll shoot you. I swear. Whoa, my oh, man. Slow down there. Huh? We're on your side. No, you conspired with Balak. I saw it myself on the news. What's he talking about? BCC. Balak hired you for protection. And listen, this thing is going out on the internet, and the whole world's going to see it. Arnie, the B in BCC is Balak. He can say whatever he wants to. It doesn't mean it's true. Arnie. Listen to me. It's okay. I know how it looks. But do you really think that we're working for Victor Balik? I mean, please. There's a guy who needs a real attitude adjustment. You know, you stand by your principles. Hey, Bob. Here you go. Why don't you uh, try it now? Look, Arnie, we don't want Balik's money. We work for a guy who stands by his principles no matter what. That's you. Ten years ago, I lied my way into a group of journalists headed for Bosnia. I got a lead on a secret meeting of local leaders trying to put an end to the war. I managed to sneak into a vent of film and figure out how to scoop all the pros. The meeting was just about to begin when Ilya Petrovsky arrived. Petrosky. They call him the Widowmaker. Yeah, with good reason. I just, I cowered inside that van. I, I was too scared to do anything. He killed them all. Every single person in that room. Nobody knows what he looks like except me. And I, I kept quiet for 10 years until I saw this magazine with Victor Balik on the cover. Balik is Petrovsky? Yeah. You see, he plundered the Republic's treasury to buy himself this new identity and become an international media baron. I always wondered how those guys got started. I just, I can't, I can't keep quiet any longer, but if I go to the media, then he'll use his power to squash my story. Not to mention you. Like a, a small rodent were his exact words? No. Now, you see, if, 
if I get the, the truth out to the whole world simultaneously, then there've got to be others who, who know who he is and they know the truth and then they'll come forward. That's probably your best hope in keeping Bailey from killing you. That's yeah, my only hope. Well, you got us. Yeah. Shut up and get down. You didn't stop me up. They're shooting at us, too. Hello? Where do you keep your ammo? I don't know. That's not even my gun. I found it. Oh. Looks like Ferris brought all 65 of his goons. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. And the Widowmaker wins again. I, I thought you said that you weren't armed. You call this armed? It's okay. We're gonna be okay, Ernie. We'll get you through this. Right, Clay? Right. My men are surrounding you. He sounds pissed. All I want is Arnie Fane. Come out now and I guarantee the rest of you stay passage. We're not giving up Arnie! Okay, come on, behind the wall. I got your back. Ooh. What about my expose? It's supposed to go on the internet in like a half hour. The internet server is down. Felix guys must have cut the lines. So this is what it comes down to in these the last hours of my life. Nobody go anywhere. I'll be right back. Look, maybe we can fight our way through. With what? We don't even have enough ammo to bluff with. What is your answer, Miss Irons? We haven't decided yet. Uh, we're gonna take a vote. You have five minutes. I can reprogram a link between Bardouche's mainframe to go through an access server in San Francisco via the regular phone lines. Now, I don't think there's gonna be time to actually download the expose, but I think I can get us on the net in real time, live. How long? 20 minutes. I'll be dead. It's hopeless. No, this is what you've always wanted. It's a chance to tell your story to the whole world. Let's do it, Kay. Five is 30. Five hours, it's about, what, 24 of them. I was just thinking about this old movie I like. Davy Crockett, King of the Wild Frontier. Great. Now, hear me out. When Davy runs out of buckshot in the movie, he makes it sound like he's got a dozen guys, even though it's really just him and Buddy Epson. Ted Clampett? Before that. Anyway, he tricks the Indians into using all their arrows, puts them on equal footing. I know how I can get these guys to waste some ammo. Me too. Right, let's do it. Well, stall Ferris. Let me in now, let me out. Nothing left here for me now. The time has passed us by again. Now there's too much to forget. Fire me up, bring me down. Only silence, still no sound. You're still waiting. This is ridiculous. Move and kill them all. Roger that. Fred, I've got him pinned down in the north corner. Fire now! Move it to the right! Down the way, Clay! Down the way, Clay! Hey, Pete, a little help over here. I got him! And he just don't let him into the house. I got a clean shot on Ferris. You want me to take him? Move! Move! Hold up. Everybody, hold your fire. Put another team on the roof. Anybody got targets? That's a negative. Nothing but muzzle flashes. She's got more people than we thought she had. She's very good. Shoot at the muzzle flashes. Pour on everything you've got. Yes, sir. Feed everyone another 50 rounds. ASAP. Okay. Another team on the roof. Oh, 
Cover the one win and pour it on. You like to do the honors. I'm Marty Fang with a breaking news story from Malibu, California, where Valerie Irons and her crack team of bodyguards are trying to protect me from media baron and mass murderer Victor Balik, whose men now have us under siege. Balik is trying to prevent us from revealing his true identity. On the left, on the left! Ammo check. We're getting low! We still have the numbers. Take the house, now. Mickey smoke bombs. I hope they work. Let's go. Let's go. Ah. No. Ah. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Get out I warned you, man. Yeah, that you did. Which is why I brought a little something extra for the occasion. <gasps> you lost in the fog of war, man. I can see that thing's empty from here. <laughs> Guess what? I lied about your gun. So I wish I knew how to thank you guys. Would you like to see our rate card? Hmm. I was kidding. Kidding. Hmm. Where you at, baby? What? What? Huh? Hey, great huh? working with you, man. Me too. Huh? Take it easy. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Good luck, Artie. All right, Nikki. <laughs> Thanks again. I'll look for your next piece on the internet. Hopefully, it'll be the end of this one. Hmm. You know, Balak's still at large, you know? Well, now the FBI's after him, thanks to you. The War Crimes Tribunal confirmed your findings. His days as media baron, they're over. See you later, Arnie. See ya.